Hello there, Tyler here. Um, I had a request to just kind of mess around with like Wasp and things, getting some cool sounds out of that. So I figured I'm going to go ahead and try and do that. I don't know. There we go. Okay. This is uh, FL12, which is very nice. And uh, I figured I'll use that. I will use that rather than 11 since it's new and does most of the same stuff, but better. 12.1, actually. This is uh, the newest thing. So uh, let's get started. We'll use Wasp and Wasp XT, XT do most of the same stuff. I'll put both. Um, but let's uh, get that on a... I'm not really sure what I'm going to be making with this, but uh, I'm going to do something and see what happens. Uh, this is uh, on 12. Instead of having that other little window that has all these settings and stuff, it's just in this dealio. Uh, there you go. That pretty much says it. Um, now, the basics of Wasp are very, very basic, so I won't get too nuts with it. Wasp and Wasp XT are very similar. XT has a few more options, and I think it sounds a tad better. So I'm going to do most on that, I think. Uh, so here's your, uh, your envelope. Pretty straightforward envelope thing. Uh, yeah, but... Um, changes the phase sort of between the left and right ear and uh yeah so two oscillators let's uh move that up an octave if you see up there when i'm moving it 12 semitones an octave pulse width will only really do anything to the uh the square so I like to make the this modulate the pulse width, make it that sounding fun. But also another fun thing is get to I like the put uh, the pitch at no and that makes it sound very noisy because just noising the pitch I don't think noising is a word but that's what I'm doing and so
Tschüss. Ich. So yeah, uh, that's a sound, a little arp thing. But also, you can do many other things with wasp. Let's find out more. Uh, let's. I'll do this with the regular wasp. Has a lot of the same stuff. The dual voice in the regular wasp. I don't really know why, but it does not really do much, at least to my experience. From my experience, I've not. Sounds remarkably similar to me, but... Oh, the ring mod is also fun. Put it up like a fifth or something. One sound that is a lot of fun. I like to do a lot. Uh... We'll put that... Everything's organized in 12, and it confuses me. I'm used to disorder. Uh, excuse me. Okay, but it's a flange. Hello. Oh, there we go. Um, and then a wave shaper. So there is a couple sounds with Wasp. Uh, that one has a...
I mean, it didn't sound amazing, but it sounds interesting and something to launch off of, possibly. Uh, I'll throw another sound in there just to make this video a bit more worthwhile. So let's look at uh, another Wasp XT. Uh, try making an effect out of it and see what happens. Uh, make a new pattern, even though it doesn't matter. F. No. Yeah. Microphone's kind of in the way of the keyboard. Uh, so with this one... Normally I do this sort of thing for like a, a rise. It's like fighting. Builds tension. Because you go really low and then you get really high. You want to uh, get all big and spacey because you want to uh, reverb, which again, I there we go. Okay, fun, fun, fun. So, here's a keyboard track. I did that so that the uh, filter will move as the uh, thing moves. I didn't say that when I did it, but I'm explaining now. Sorry, I keep uh, not thinking about things. I'm very full. I just ate at a Chinese buffet. It was delicious. Um, irrelevant, really, but figure I'd bring it up. Uh, <laughs> anyways... Uh, Remember with uh, slides like that, in if you have the, uh, where is that setting? It's not MIDI, I don't think, is it? Mm. Truncate, truncate, truncate. I don't really know what the word is, but tool. It's by default on in 12, but the truncate notes or whatever it's called uh, means that if you like cut something that uh, is MIDI, that it will just play what's there. So this will get that whole. Uh, spectrum of sweeping and that's helpful sometimes uh, just another thing to know uh, I hope this video has been helpful for anyone and if you'd like me to do videos like it I will do that uh, more and more often because this only took like 15 minutes so <laughs> uh, yeah hopefully that's good Ask me any questions in the comments. 
You can like and subscribe if you like it and would like to subscribe to this channel. Uh, I hope you do, because I like to make things, and I hope that others enjoy them. So, uh, have a wonderful day. Have a nice time watching videos on YouTube, and I will hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.